There's this one tricky thing about traveling. It is super easy to end up in a place where you look down on your belly and you're thinking, where did this all came from? You wake up later in the morning, you go to sleep later in the night. You forgot about your exercises and you do less work on your computer. It is super easy to get carried away. And to end up in that place, it is very frustrating. But it doesn't have to be that way. Hi, my name is Joran Skoga Agapes and I'm a full-time traveler. Not only that, I'm a big, 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 big fan of morning routines. I believe that having a morning routine in your regular day life and also while traveling is super important. Today we're gonna talk about what is a morning routine, why to have it, how to create one and what are the struggles that you might face when having one. But before we get into this video, make sure to destroy the subscribe button because we are headed with this ship to 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2021 and you can be a part of it. So grab your ticket and let's go baby. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Smash the like button but let's get started <laughs> there are many ways you can approach a morning routine it can be creative lazy and comforting active and highly productive there are really no rules when it comes to having a routine but it for sure serves a certain purpose a morning routine is a set of actions a person has to do in order to get himself prepared for the day and get the best performance out of the individual himself in the day because we are all different, unfortunately there is no such thing as morning routine for everybody. What works for me may not work for you and what works for Johnny may not work for Karen. It is a very individual thing. Uh, let's look at three examples. The first one will be Steve Jobs. Every single morning he woke up, stood in front of the mirror to say to himself, if today was the last day of my life, would I want to do what I am doing today? Quite philosophical, huh? Then there's Winston Churchill, who woke up at 7.30 in the morning and remained in bed until 11 o'clock. He spent the whole time eating enormous breakfast, drank coffee and read some newspapers before he head out and made some big decisions. And then there's guys like Tony Robbins, who wakes up in the morning, gets his nutritional drink, does some meditation, expresses gratitude, visualizes success, goes for a workout, eats a big breakfast and then takes a cold shower. I'm not sure that I've even told everything that he does. It's crazy. <laughs> So to narrow things down a little bit, a morning routine is a momentum you create in order to have your day going really well. So do you want to know why you have to have a morning routine? First of all, it creates a lot of good habits, if you're not Winston Churchill. It gets your day structured, because every single morning you wake up to a certain set of actions that you will do in order to get yourself moving and getting things done, which is super important. I cannot start my day without a morning routine. Every single morning I wake up and I think that this is the worst day of my life. I really, I am depressed in the mornings and it's really bad. I don't want to get out of the bed. And just because I start to go through all of these processes which I have, I end up in a place when I'm like, whoa, but life's actually great. If you get things done, it's really fun. And there's no real need to be holding yourself back from it. I might as well just start doing things because that feels great. It's much better than to stay in the bed and think, oh shit. When you're traveling, a morning routine will help you to keep a track on things. It will help you to understand if you are going to bed on the right time. It will help you to understand if you are exercising enough, if you are doing your job enough. It will prevent you from slacking off so much that you end up in trouble. So you might ask, how do I create a morning routine? So as I mentioned, we are all different and unfortunately there is no perfect recipe to make your morning routine. But there are guidelines which you can use and here's a couple of them. First thing, decide the time when you want to wake up. In order to make this happen, you have to be honest with yourself and understand how many hours of sleep do you need. Because if you decide to wake up every single morning at 5 a.m., which is really great, but you're going to bed at midnight and you're having only five hours of sleep instead of the regular eight hours that you are having, you're in a problem because this thing won't last long. Yes, first days may be really great and you'll be thinking, wow, I'm sleeping less, but I'm doing more. But as inspiring that is, most likely you will ditch the whole 5 a.m. in the morning thing because if you're used to sleeping eight hours and you switch it to five, 
it's not a long lasting thing. And you want your morning routine to have longevity. That's why you have to understand if I need to have eight hours sleep and I wake up at 8 a.m. in the morning, that means at 12 o'clock I'm already sleeping. Second thing is to understand what creates your momentum. Are you a philosophical guy like Steve Jobs or are you lazy and comforting like Winston Churchill? Or do you need to get your momentum by doing a lot of things like Tony Robbins and snowball through the whole day? Find what brings the best out of you. It could be a breathing exercise, a run, meditation, yoga, big breakfast, a long shower, whatever you might think. It can be a combination of things. Understand what gets your momentum going. Third thing is don't expect it to be exciting all the time. Yes, first days when you create a morning routine, it's so fun. It's unbelievable. The feeling is really unbelievable. You feel so empowered and inspired and motivated. The feeling is like you can virtually do anything now. <laughs> it's really crazy, like insanely powerful. But remember, there will be days when there will be no inspiration or motivation and it's very crucial to not stop at that point because in order to create a momentum there are three main things involved in that and that is motivation inspiration and action so if you don't have the motivation if you don't have the inspiration there comes the action part <laughs> Holy snaps, my camera turned off. <laughs> Basically, by applying action, you see that things in your morning are getting done and you suddenly feel motivated to do even more and you feel inspired for what's coming next. So, so some days when you don't want to do your morning routine, you just step out and start to do it and it just gets you motivated for the whole day. That's the whole purpose of it, to give you motivation and inspiration and sometimes you will have to take action. And that's okay. And the last thing I want to talk to you about is it's okay to make changes. Your morning routine doesn't have to be carved in stone. I know to say for me that sometimes I even end up changing my morning routine three times per week when I move things around and uh, I do some things different. It's okay to change it up a little bit, especially if you end up in a place where you feel like your morning routine isn't doing you good. You feel tired after it because you ran 10 kilometers, you meditated for an hour, then you ate enormous breakfast and sit in the ice bath for 15 minutes and whatever. <laughs> and it's just the start of the day and you're already feeling exhausted. I've been there, I've done this so many times. So. Uh, really understand what works and uh, what is too much, what is too less and just always play with it. It's such a creative process and it's really, really, really good. With that all said, I want to finish this episode here in Portugal. Make sure you subscribe and hit the like button and ah, it's more, more stuff is coming. <laughs> yeah, you just wait. I am Jorenz Kuagakapes and my friends are waiting for me, so I gotta go. Bye!